Hi everyone, it's Gail. And I know it's Mixed Media Monday, but I'm going to deviate a little. I have hurt my lower back and I just don't think I can stand at my Mixed Media table. So we are going to um, finish some projects. You know, truth be told, I've got metal, I've got fabric, I've got paint, I've got... I've got stuff, so in a way it's still Mixed Media Monday, but I'm stretching it a little bit. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I did, but it's not happy, my back. Okay, so let's say hi and hugs, and then we'll jump in. Hi and hugs to Brenda, Lorette, Joey, and Casey. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, first thing I want to do is kind of finish off these covers. Here is my leather cover for the um, cowboy, cowboy book. And what I've got going on here is nothing will go through this. Like, not even a hand needle, not a tapestry needle, not a darning needle. So what I'm going to do is... Um, let me get something to cover my table. Let me get a little something to cover the table here. Maybe I need two of these, don't I? Um, but we are going to use our Fabri-Tac and really, really get this stuck down. So, yeah, I, I tried everything I could do to get this to um to sew and she's just not going to do it that's all there is to it um and i didn't want to didn't want to completely ruin my sewing machine you know so so i finally said finally said uncle and i said okay you win leather but i'm thinking if i if I really get that glued down, it's not going anywhere. So, um, but I need the edges. I need the edges down better than they are right now. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to do a little gluing. Sometimes finishing isn't glamorous, <laughs> but necessary. So, um, if you ever run into this, I thought it might be helpful for you to see just, I'm just going to, like I say, just put a good amount of Fabri-Tac and just smoosh down and, and trust that this is going to be, I am going to put on corners on this one too. So that might be helpful as well. What did I do with the corners for this? Um, hmm. Let me see. Huh, I'm not seeing the corners right now. You guys have seen me put corners on before, but... Um, oh, man. Even... Reaching to grab something isn't making my back happy. I don't know what happened to the last last four corners I had out, but these are Tim Holtz corners. And since I'm going to be sitting this aside to dry, I figure I may as well just get those corners on too. Going to need my happy little... Uh, needle nose to pliers as well. Okay, let's do this thing. Yeah, this feels pretty darn stable, I will say. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, so we have all these projects. I think it's probably going to take us the whole video, but it's going to be a little bit of a variety, which will be good. But this is first things first. So, see how that corner is going to go. Nope, just chipped a nail. You know what? Why do I even bother? Oh, they last like 10 minutes in a decent state of repair. 
and then they're done. Oh well, I made the effort. Okay, this one. Yeah, I think what I did to my back is just sleeping wrong. <laughs> I saw a thing not too long ago, and it was like, when when you're young, you hurt yourself riding your bike, or skiing, or sledding, or, you know, or you just fall down and skin your knee, or whatever. When you're old, you hurt yourself getting out of bed. <laughs> I resemble that. <laughs> Apparently, I hurt myself. I think I just slept really hard in the same position all night or something. I don't know. It's a sad state of affairs, people. Okay. Um, a little overflow there that I don't want. Alrighty, last one. And then this can sit aside and I will let it dry probably even overnight before I bend it. Well, I, I guess I, it's only the very edges that would, because it's already dried in the middle. I think this is going to work just fine. I'm going to go ahead and say that was a was a win okay cool okay so let's see let's see how we do folding her I'm glad I did that this is kind of goobery there that is gonna be one tough journal cover okay well, I do, I do like that. That's going to be really neat for the, for the cowboys. So they, it's called Vigilant Days and it's by Made to Be Designs. It's the, it's the journal I'm going to make. It's going to be my next project. I didn't plan on that, but once I saw that digital, it was like, yes, need to do that. Okay, one down. Now, um, these little um, quilted ones, I got them sewn around, but I think I want to take off a bit of the edges. So somewhere, yep, there's that, need this. Yeah, I'm going to just um, go a little closer to where I have put this in, and then I'm going to go around the edges and put some Fabri-Tac again. So, so this isn't too big of a deal, but um, again, it's something I needed to... that I needed to do in order to be done here. Did I get it? Just about. Okay. See, that is better. Hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna want my I might want my fray check, which I can grab easily and show you guys what that is. Okay. Gosh, it'll be great to have these, have these all done. Because there's three of these quilted ones, so that's a good, good little stock to put in my covers, my pre-done covers. Okay, I'm gonna grab that fray check to show you guys. Just talk amongst yourselves. Oh. I am. 
almost thought for a minute I was out of it. But this is what it looks like. Stops fraying on fabric, it says. Okay, so. First things first, I'm going to kind of go around the edges of this. Just, I mean... You know what? I don't think I have to with the sewing around. I think it's just fine. So, but I will put a little of this. This is folded around the envelope, so that's not a problem, but just the edge of the um the edge of this quilt just to kind of stop that from fraying. And I have to, I guess, darn it, I'm going to have to go to Joann's and get some more of this. I think you can get it on Amazon, too. Okay. We'll just go around the whole thing. And I'm just, I'm just kind of smoothing it on the edges. Because with the quilting, you've got three layers, you know. The... And, you know, in some ways, I don't mind it fraying a little bit. I think it just makes it look old and, you know, more Da Vinci and stuff. But this one will, will do just to keep it a little smoother. Okay. Um, I actually think putting a little layer of the Fabri-Tac, if you don't have the fray check, would probably do about the same thing. Might not be quite as neat. Okay, so I'm going to lay this aside. This one is done, and this is the one that I want to put a doily on too. So I'll put the doily with it. Okay. All right, let's see where we're at with the other two. We have got this one. Let's see, these two edges I will keep because they're kind of patterned, I guess you would say, but it's here and at the top. I'd like to neaten that up a little bit. Okay. I got that all lined up and then I got up and my stomach hit it okay uh, a slight clearance problem nothing to worry about people Let's see okay that's all good and here, we're supposed to get snow tonight. Yeah, a decent amount of snow. So, that's happening again. Just ready for it to be rain, you know. Okay, on this one, guys, I am not going to fray check this, and I'll tell you why. See how raggedy this edge is? I'd like this to maybe raggedy up a little bit as well. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to match up the envelope on the inside. See the two edges there? Because this hangs over a bit. And... That is a done cover. Done and done. Isn't that fun? I love that. Love that old quilt. Okay, that one's done. Yes. Okay, one more. One more and then we shall get on. See, this one's really hanging over, so I need to get that one cut down.
that down and making me happy. That's what we're that's what we're going for here. Okay, and this way. I'm washing, I'm washing an old quilt of my grandma's. It's um, a patchwork quilt that she made and it is wool. And we have my granddaughter's first track meet <laughs> on Friday and I think it's gonna be chilly. So, um, so I have it it's seen way better days and it's been out in the garage so I was like Mike I need to get that all washed up so that we don't freeze to death on Friday oh spring sports in Montana are a bit of a trial my son ran track too and oh my I mean, I remember many a track meet with, you know, six inches of snow on our laps. People bring, tar you know, tarps and all sorts of things to try and stay warm. Oh, crazy. Okay. I think that as well makes me happy. So, let's see. You know... Fray check or not to fray check is the question. I don't think I will, I won't be sorry that I fray checked it. The only thing is it makes the edge a little crunchy. It's not as, as soft as, as it would have been. I'm not sure I'm doing that much good to be honest, but maybe it'll be a little a little bit less fray and it doesn't hurt does it gives me an excuse to go to Joann's because I'm nearly out I don't know anymore you guys I just don't go out shopping I just don't I mean I buy most of my supplies on Etsy and yeah it's just it's kind of funny there we go okay cool I'm gonna lay that aside to dry as well we're over here okay all right so a little drip there alrighty then so that little project is done I think a fairly quick project will be I wanted to finish off these little um, clusters we made on, uh, I don't know, whenever we made them. Saturday, maybe? Scrappy Saturday? Let's see, that one's going to go that way. This will be a fairly quick process, I think. I might use, if I have tiny clusters, I might use those. Oh, that's more than one. Okay, and then I have this little guy. Or I may use my flowers and butterflies. Um, let me get those out. And let's see. I was looking for a particular particular something and it wasn't in there so I don't know okay let's see what we have in here that might that might go along with some of these that one's really cool new these might work for a couple Clusters on clusters. That's what we're that's what we're up to here. Um, this one's got a little purple in it. That's 
It's not too bad. So I'll put that one on there. Okay, a couple of those anyway. Here's a fun one. It's got pink though, I don't have, oh, I was gonna do that one kind of Christmassy, wasn't I? Wonder if I have anything of sorts in there. This one's kind of cool. Could go on something. I'm wondering. Yeah, I don't mind that. Okay, that one's put together. That one's put together. Okay, let's see what else we have. I have a little, a cute little hedgehog. I think I'll put that on that one. What else do I have here? Oh, that's a cute little believe. Covers up the bird. I want to cover up the bird. Maybe I want to. Maybe I want to put it right there. That's where I want to put it. Cool. Okay. I think that one could go there and you can see a little bit of the birdie. Okay. What else do we have? Got an, another one of these that say antique. That's cute. Okay, we'll go with that. Just a couple left. I'm liking using the other little clusters. That's cute. Got that. This one's kind of the wrong colors. Um, let's see. On the Christmas one, if we can put a little something Kathy Holden on there. See something that's piquing my interest here. I can get to it. Come down. <laughs> oh, I do struggle. Come here, you. Come here. I don't want to take everything out. Okay, okay, so those I'm done with. Although I kind of want something in back of it now that I see that it's it needs a little something. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, that's gonna go on there. Um, <laughs> what could go in back of it? Ooh, a little, maybe a little. Um, A little doily. I I'm gonna stick those up there so I don't have to go so far to get them. Okay, would a little of that look good? Yes. Okay, I am gonna I'm gonna just do this in half. It'll be a good scrap to have. And I'm gonna put that there and that there. Okay, that makes me happy. And then we'll just do a flower on. Oh my goodness. You guys, we have got to, we, I have got to work on my scraps. They are out of control. Too, too many scraps. Let's see, there's a little spring color. That might be too, is that too big? Kind of, oh, there's a little one. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick that on there. Okie dokie, these are from Char's Crafty Shop. 
If she doesn't have any listed, you can always message her. Okay, we got some gluing to do, folks. Let's do it. And all these will be done. You can put them in the done box. My husband's about to take off to Costco. A few things we need there. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I can just choose glue stick on this. enough. Okay. The rest will just be glue glue. So that's fun. We have a Christmas one out of the clusters too. Yeah. Okay, that's done. Let's put you on. I think I want glue all, all along here. Kind of fun attaching smaller clusters to the bigger clusters to make even more texture to it, more layers, I guess you would say. Cool, okay. This is going on here. Right there. Okay, there's that one. This guy's gonna go on here. <clears throat> yeah, last time I went to Costco, I ended up buying a whole bunch of pairs of yoga pants because <laughs> they had them for $9.99. So it's best I don't go to stores, to be honest. My, uh, Willpower is not that great. But I wear yoga pants every single day, so I felt like I was justified in... I'm going to put that right down to the bottom, I think. Um, I thought I was justified in getting a few more pairs. What with wearing them all day, all day every day. What'd we do before yoga pants? I guess I wore jeans to be comfortable, but jeans aren't very comfortable to me anymore. Okay, there's that one. Yay, these are going to be all done. Okay. I think I just need glue in the middle because this is going to hang over a little bit. This one. Bada bing, bada boom. Got those done. And then I will just put them in the box of things to go on the side of a page. These can, like so. Or you could put it down here and make it a tuck. Just glue here and here. So there's lots of uses for those. Okay. Got that 
that whole pile done. Yes. Alrighty then, let me show you. Okay, over. Let me show you. I got one more of these done. Um, so I think my Christmas one was pretty much done. I might have put that on after the video was done. But there's the Christmas one. Here's Tim Holtz. I stuck a little butterfly in the side there. So that one's all done. This one, did I do anything else? I don't think so. Oh, I put this down at the bottom there. It didn't mess up the pattern of the pocket, but just added a little something. So there's that one. Then I finished this blue one. And I glued the butterfly there, put a little garden fairy. We've got little birdies and the word garden. And then um, just a bunch of blue ephemera in there. So there's that one. So I have four of those done, but I have, what, six more to go. <laughs> Because I went crazy making the bases. What can I say? Um, so maybe we'll do one more. And then I want to get on to this other project. So I don't know if I'm going to need you papers. Uh, if anything, I'll need my glue pages, maybe. Oh, I should get rid of that before I impale myself. Okay. Let's see. Which one says... I want to do you. I think this one does. This one's a bit smaller. Oh, all my fingernail polish is coming off because of the um, Fabri-Tac. Okay. What would we like to do in this one? I thought I do have um, down here I have some of these little tags that say vintage on them. I was thinking that could be cute in there. I wonder if any of them, this one's a little closer to the, this one's a little closer to the hole and you can see a little bit more of it. So that might not be all I put in there. Um, Oh, you know what might be fun for this one? Let me see. I've got my Mrs. Cog's Crafts um, little ephemera holder, and she's got lots of lots of very fun little images and things. I love these little darling ones. They're so cute. Look at her. Isn't she cute? She could go well in there. I'm not going to take time to... That's the other thing I did off camera. I uh, distressed them all and glued them. So they were ready to go to this point. And I'll need to distress the things that go in this. But I will do that. I will do that later. Gosh, she's really cute. And she sticks out there just perfect, doesn't she? Um... What if we put maybe a little, these are all inspirational words from her, but um, I was looking at these because they're a nice size, but they're all garden sayings. Oops a daisy. Ooh, I love that one. I'm gonna put oops a daisy right there. <laughs> Heaven knows I oops a daisy all the time. I am gonna go ahead and do this so I can put it down. <laughs> oops a daisy. Love that. That's really cute. Okay. Okay, what 
just pop that right there. Oops, Daisy. Maybe she made a little mistake on her homework. Oops, Daisy. My youngest daughter always says, oops, Daisy. So that kind of reminds me of her. That's very fun. Okay. Um, you need something skinny in there. That, that has been the challenge, the skinny ones. Um, those are Christmas. Oh, I'll have to remember I have those Christmas ones when I'm doing the Roxy Challenge. Yep, those are all Christmas. Ooh, I've got some of these. Um, I forget, Mucha, Mucha. I put her in there. Um, might need a butterfly or something in there. I don't know. Maybe we'll just put like, I have all these floral ones. I'm just going to look for one that kind of, not too bad. Yeah, let's do that. Got that little thing. We need something bigger in there too. Let's go back to the little darlings. It's this one. It's a little person on a horse, but it's not printed well, so. Who did that? Oops, Daisy. <laughs> Look at that. How cute is that? Um, I don't see anything big that's making me... I mean, that's just gardening. Ooh, I do like that. Okay. Okay, we did that. Then this little pumpkin on the front... Um, we want the back of that. If you haven't discovered Mrs. Cog's crafts, you really need to get over there. She's got she's got every digital you can imagine, every theme, and um, I was on her design team. That's where all of these came from you know I'd print the whole kit to show and so um yeah let's see if we have some tickets to go in there maybe a ticket that kind of makes sense with the little person that's traveling there oh that's a nice color. I don't know if it'll fit. Oh, it's too big. Here's a skinnier one down here. Same color. Yeah, that's good. Okay. A little bit of distressing to do there. And maybe a butterfly up there, or I need something down there too. Hmm. If one of these would kind of draw in the colors from this. Yeah. That's good. And then do I have a little word? I think. I always gravitate to it, don't I? I don't know. Do you feel like that's too much? 
kind of do. I kind of do. I could put it over there. I like that better. Okay. Uh, this word is from a jewel design on Etsy. Yeah, let's put those two things down. Kind of a, what would you say, a, a non-themed one. I mean, it could, if it goes with the colors of a journal, it can just pop right in there. Yeah, I like how that just kind of frames out the word. There we go. Now I just have to distress those. And really, I can put these back into my um, into my to-do box, and then they could be, as I'm working on a journal, possibly, you know, use some of the pieces from the ephemera from whatever kit I'm using. But. That's happy. I like that. Okay. Did that. That one's done too. Um, what I wanted to do for the rest of our time together, not that long, is I wanted to doodle on these. Um, I showed you how to make these. And I thought, you know, um, first of all, one of my subbies had a great idea. She said, why don't you scan them before you doodle on them because then people can um, could buy that digital and doodle do their own doodling. And I thought, well, that's a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to haul up my pens, which you guys don't judge, but I used to color and do all that. And with mixed media, I have a lot of pens. So I'm just going to kind of tip that on its side and we're going to just do some doodling. So doodling is so, um, it's just so relaxing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of looking for spots to do something. Okay. Just start. That's what you got to do with doodling. No rhyme or reason to what I doodle. That's for sure. I just, it's one of those things I've heard a lot of people say I'm intimidated by it. And I really do think it's one of those things you just have to jump in and do it, you know, not think about it, which is a little bit easier when you're um, making a video and talking to your peeps. It's easier to just do it and not think about it. Okay, and I'm going to make a little dot in between. This is one of those ones where if I edited, which I don't and don't intend to, um, I could either speed it up or put music with it or something. <laughs> Instead, you just have me rattling on. But I just, I thought I'd just do a little bit and um, and kind of just show you, just show you how I do it. Let's see. I want to in here kind of go around. What color do I want? This is a question. I don't have, I was thinking I would like a, I don't appear that I have an orange in the small, ooh, this might be good. That, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna, ooh, this one might be a little dry. Wouldn't you know, the one I want. Yep, that one's too dry. Okay. So much for that. How about 
we'll just use brown. I just kind of wanted to do the shape of these bows. Outline them, if you will. Yeah, these sheets are going to be fun. I did go ahead and I have three of them done. I did go ahead and um, scan them prior to. Let me know, you guys, if you would want to have them so you can doodle them on your own. Or if you just want them complete. Or both. Yeah, just let me know in the comments because I don't want to waste time making the digital if it's not something you guys are interested in. Okay, so I'm going to go down here. Just, just attaching the bows to one another kind of. Let's go back to my dots. But it does fill in the white space, so that's a good thing. Okay. Okay. This needs something. Um, I think I'm going to use like a, oh, that's blue. Okay, I'm going to a different, to a different one. We'll make lines then we'll decide if we want to do anything more with the lines oh I think it didn't start out that way but I think I'm going to go to the tip of all the zigzag stitching that does make them evenly spaced So I think tomorrow, I was trying to think of, I think now that my um, cover is done, I think I'm going to do this second, oh, I should probably put this in the, in the start to finish of the um, cowboy journal too. Probably better. Because I did finish the cover, although this is just more of a craft with me, isn't it? I know there's paint here, but I'm doing this anyway. I got on a roll. I think I'll do it through these two. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. here. And some here. Just following the curve of the paint. So I don't know. That's just, well, what I could do is do a little checkerboard.
Oh yeah, that's very busy. But fun. I think this will be a good TV activity too. Um, doodling on these pages. If you watch the nightly news, it's always a good thing to doodle while you're watching the nightly news. <laughs> it causes less stress. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Try and do this wherever it's white. Down here, too. Okay. Did that. How are we doing time-wise? Should I check? I better. Okay, we're okay. Um, what about some... pink or red. I don't know. I'm kind of, maybe, maybe here I could do something in pink. These are all, by the way, Fa uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens. I love them. And I've had these for years. I mean, I don't even know how long. Um... How about we do we'll do some circles in circles. It's just so fun, but it's hard to it's hard to chat while I'm doing it. It's like I eh, get into a zone and you could do all the doodling in black too. I might do that on one of them because I think that would work too like a bunch of eyeballs. It is fun to get these pens out though. They've been under my table. Running out of space here. I'm making very skinny, very skinny circles. Okay, circles. Little pink circles. I feel like I want to put another color on those. Do I have a purple? Maybe that's purple. Purple. Ish. This one is magenta. You know, it's kind of like once you get started, you can't stop. These ones with the small head are kind of drying out a little bit. So it's just a lot, it's a light line, let's just say. Do 
just needed something more. So we're giving it something more. Okay. It is filling, I mean, when you look at it, and I mean, you look at this part as opposed to this part, it really does kind of add something, doesn't it? Get a little, get a little something going on in there. Um, a little gray. light but kind of like it because I'm not totally sure I like what I'm doing here I'll add a different color too okay about this pearly ruby metallic that sounds lovely Okay. Part of me wants to color in those little flowers in the stitching. Um, let's do this metallic blue around them too. Ooh. It's very bright. If I were to color in, what color would I do? I kind of want a green, which seems weird, but... This is a fun little stitch. This, I'd call it a tulip stitch. I don't know. Okay, did that. Well, at least it's a bit of a demo. Let's look at what we did today and call it a video. Oof, putting that on the floor was not good. Um, so, see the little doodles? There's our little tulips. Our checkerboard, our circles, dots. Yeah. So, that one started in that regard. So, that's good. We did this little, this little um, folio thing. Little ephemera folio. So, we got that done. Um, we got all of our, all of our covers done. I'm going to go ahead and fold that one. So my thought with this one is I want to put, um, ribbons on, like on the edge of this doily and it's going to be the closure because then it will tie around so my edges are a little stiff but they're good okay um oops then there's this one 
And then this one is ready to be folded. So this one is, um, has the, once again, kind of has the tops or the sides sticking out of the front. So we just need to line up the inside. So there's that one. That one's really different. I mean, uh, maybe hang a dangle on that or something. I don't know, but I like it. Okay, and then we did all of these. So I'll show you up to the camera quickly. So it was a good day of finishing. Thank you for being here to hang out with me so I wasn't talking to myself. <laughs> it's been known to happen. Oh, I really like that one. I like this little dude too. Christmas. And the paper pad. I just realized on Christmas the part of the paper that I didn't want to cover up, I ended up covering up. But, you know, so it goes. So there you go. A pretty good day of finishing. So thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thanks for being here every day. I so appreciate all of you. So have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.